60 seconds. And you see the tears nutty, and you think, oh, how can this be? I must see this being. Ask me, his daisy chain is missing a few legs. Why do you call this guy Cookie? Well, the thing about him is that mm -hmm. he is actually addicted that, uh, you know, to eating cookies. Of, uh, Any, you know, all types. Chips of Hoys, uh, Oreos. Right, well, there are a lot of Friday the 13th movies. There's more than one. You mental wannabes. Let's see how you score on this first IQ question. How many people are playing the game? Why do oh, you have no friends today? What a sad and pathetic life you must lead. Don't worry, I'll be your pal. Go ahead and type. One more thing. You looking for a 21 question game or more like a seven question game? Thank you. 30 seconds. Okay, your buzzer is the letter B on your keyboard. That's B as in, as in the letter B on your keyboard. Uh, who are you? Techie Deckerson? 20, 20 seconds. 20 seconds! Hey, we got 20. Uh, listen, this couldn't be any simpler. Question comes on the screen, you think you know the answer, you buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You got it? 10, Ten seconds. Right, Good luck. People, Nine, this is for real eight, this time. Let's seven, lose the desktop. Six, okay, five, go to black. Four. Injury-free day today, huh? It's the health food store boy now. Birkenstock sold separately. Jack movies. Just so you know, we are out of raisinets, but the good news is we have plenty of goobers. Playing by yourself today? Okay, just make sure you keep that overcoat on your lap. All right, let's get busy. Okay, I need a category. I'm sorry, Dave. It's question one. The category? Don't trust a $1 movie theater. This one can net you a grand. You know, it might not be true that a monkey at a typewriter would eventually type a Shakespeare play, but I bet he could type a Hollywood script, like this one. A primatologist becomes obsessed with an alpha male DJ and tries to murder his female companion. What's the best title for this age? Gorillas in the Mist is about a famous primatologist, and Play Misty for Me is about a woman obsessed with a radio disc jockey played by Clint Eastwood. Yeah, the soundtrack to the movie was pretty annoying. All songs by the monkeys. Okay, pick a category. Let's see what we got going. Saturday morning drinking songs. $3,000 on the table for this one. Put it in gear, because here we go. If the makers of Schoolhouse Rock changed their motto from knowledge is power to that of Faber College from Animal House, what would be their new motto? It's just tragic. Here's what you should have picked. <laughs> The motto of Faber College is, knowledge is good. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Uh, don't know. Drink beer? <laughs> I need a category. This category is known as sleeping around. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Grease yourself up and get ready to wrestle. What movie's plot can be summed up as girl wants boy who wants boy who wants girl? Three of hearts, threesome, quadrophenia, or three smart girls? The correct answer is... The girl who wants the gay boy who wants the straight boy who wants the girl is the plot of Threesome, or Melrose Place. Category, please. My question for... Let's 
give a nice warm welcome to Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Mouse Ears. $3,000 for this one. Hey, is it true that you used to party with Annette Funicello? No? Well, then imagine this. If Annette Funicello were to invite you to a theme party based on one of her beach party movies, which of these costumes could you wear? A spacesuit, a toga, an invisible bikini, or pajamas? Annette Funicello is featured in Beach Party, Muscle Beach Party, and Pajama Party. Gee, you know, I don't wear pajamas. Did she ever film boxers I've been wearing all week party? All right, hit me. Here we have, that's a horse dropping of a different color. $1,000 at stake on this one. Remember the horse of a different color from the Wizard of Oz? Well, he's pulled his last coach, and if he can't find some other way to be of use, it's the glue factory. What would the horse of a different color from the Land of Oz have to do if he wanted to be hired as the logo for TriStar Pictures? Become pink and grow a horn? The TriStar logo is Pegasus, the winged horsey. Think of TriStar as some billionaire Japanese movie executive's version of My Little Pony. Okay, I need a category. Encino Guy? Wait, I thought it was Encino Man. Unless... Are, are we going on a... We're going on a fiber optic field trip to Encino, California. All right. Play hooky and go to Encino. Area code 818. Hey kids, go pack a sack lunch, because we're going on a fiber optic field trip. Let me just uh, flip through the uh, Encino white page. You know, screw that. Let we know the area. No, we know the area code. Let's just let's just dial something. Alright, let's just uh, call somebody in Encino. It's kind of exciting, you know, no names or nothing, just totally random. Funny, I, I had a date like that a couple of weeks ago. Oh, oh wait. <sighs> okay, this could have been a bad idea. Uh, hello? Hey there, who, who am I speaking to? I don't think I'm the person you're trying to call. Who are you looking for? Hey, maybe you are the person I'm trying to call. How do you know? Because people don't really try to reach me at payphones. Oh, it's a payphone? It's a payphone. Then why the hell did you answer it? Because it was ringing. I'm, I'm waiting for a bus. All right, well, here's the deal. My name's Cookie. I'm the host of a game show called You Don't Know Jack. It's a trivia game about movies. You heard of it? No, never. Fine. Listen, when's your bus coming? In about a minute. Great. Okay, here's what you're going to do. Blow off your bus and get the next one. What In the, the meantime, no, no. I, want you, I want you to come up with a trivia question for our huh? game, no. and, and it has I'm to be about movies. No, 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 let me explain. You are going to miss your bus, and you're going to be well compensated for it. You hear what I'm saying now? Yeah, keep talking. All right. In a second, I'm going to put you on with our producer, and he'll explain all this to you. But but before we do that, tell us your name and what you do for a living. You called me on a payphone. I'm not going to tell you anything yet. Put me on with the producer you're talking about. Hey, we got a live one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll return to the mysterious Encino phone booth guy in a bit, but uh, first, let's go back to the game. Okay, pick a category. She was built like an interstate cloverleaf, made for speed with all the right curves. All I could think of was six. The category is, it's really hot inside. And we're talking 2,000 for this baby. Heads up, here it comes. Which lovable commercial spokesperson would most likely be pressed into service as a henchman for the evil Mr. Han from Enter the Dragon? Charlie the Tuna, Poppin' Fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy, the Hamburger Helper Helping Hand, or Speedy Alka-Seltzer? Let's see what a correct answer looks like. Mr. Han has an artificial hand and likes to keep replacements around. And he likes to keep Hamburger Helper around when he needs a hot, hearty meal fast. I need a category. And 
And I believe this one's called It's For You And you're playing for $3,000 cash money Okay, imagine this Jimmy Stewart is hosting an episode of Unsolved Mysteries Say Jimmy Stewart calls you from the set of Unsolved Mysteries If he's asking for clues to help free an innocent man wrongly imprisoned for killing a cop What should you tell him? Don't answer the phone Dial M for murder Call Northside 777 Or, sorry, wrong Jimmy Stewart plays a reporter trying to free an innocent man in Call Northside 777 of course, the Unsolved Mysteries crew is more likely to have him call a good psychic. All right, hit me. Hey, all right, guess what you just picked? It's time to play Dis or Dat. This Dis or Dat's category name is BYOBS. I'm gonna show you seven acronyms. Uh, oh, so you already know how to play. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's dance. Zag, is it a union or is it Chaos? Wooga. Smurf. Sumta. Iatsi. Last one. Spec that's all she wrote. You are a very smart person, and I want to see your new score. There you go, next time you treat. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I need a category. They said it was indestructible. Oh, then disaster struck. Now showing, music is the best shampoo. This one's worth a grand. Let's see how you handle this one. If the mythical figure Medusa wanted to sing about washing those snakes right out of her hair, where should she go? Oz, Oklahoma, Gary, Indiana, or the South Pacific? For the curious, here's the right answer. In the musical South Pacific, they're washing all kinds of things out of their hair. Men and, well, all kinds of things. And man, have you ever tried to sneak a peek at Medusa's hot bod in the shower? She's got a great asp. Hey, they can't all be good. Category, please. Say hello to American Vandalism. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Fire up those frontal lobes. Here's the question. If the cast of American Graffiti had actually spray-painted graffiti all over the on-location buildings, which phrase would the locals probably not have had to sandblast away? Ronnie Howard plus Cindy Williams, Harrison Ford is a hunk. I love Suzanne Summers, Or Richard Gere was here. No, the future Richie Cunningham and Shirley Feeney were both in American Graffiti. Don't let their squeaky clean image fool you. <laughs> Should have picked this. Richard Gere was an American gigolo, not American Graffiti. Yeah, in that movie, Richard's character was spraying something else all over that set. Okay, we're halfway home. Let's see how round two treats you. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. Okay, we're back on our fiber optic field trip with uh, the, the guy in Encino with the payphone. Hey, uh, Mystery Man. What's that? Hey, it's me, Cookie. Listen, I'm sorry you had to miss your bus, man. Hey, as long as you guys are going to take care of me, uh, I'm, I'm glad to catch another one. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Let, let's have your question now. <laughs> And let's make it worth 5,000 bucks. Okay, put your hand on your buzzer. Here's a question. Of the following, which is the only movie in which someone does not die? Go. Okay, they pick Magical Mystery Tour. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, it's that Beatles film where they're tripping and stuff, but nobody dies or has a heart attack or anything on a bus. Well, Encino boy, I gotta hand it to you. I, I didn't have high expectations, but that was a pretty sweet question there. Well, you know, if you guys are you're gonna make it worth my while, I figure I should earn it. Yeah, you bet. We'll, we'll send you a nice t-shirt or something. A t-shirt? What are you talking about? I thought it was like five grand for this. 
boy, that was fun. Let's move on now. All right, hit me. Did someone order a 12-inch sausage? Oh, my. All right, here's the deal. Retroactive product placement. I'm sending over 4,000 dead presidents if you get this one. Pull out your antenna and get ready to buzz. Which modern ad slogan best describes Claudette Colbert's actions in the famous scene from It Happened One Night? Just do it. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Between sex and insanity lies obsession. Or nothing beats a great pair of legs. Let's take a look at the right answer. In this trend-setting scene, Colbert takes hitchhiking to a new level by hitching her skirt up to a new level. The makers of legs would like to join us in reminding you that it's best not to hitchhike, but if you do, why not make sure your legs are sheer and sexy? I need a category. The selection is, oh, I've got sand in my clam. This one can net you $6,000. Strap on your helmet, we're going in. In the Elvis classic Clam Bake, a famous performer named Susie has a cameo role. Considering Susie's main claim to fame, what might you say about her appearance? Hope I don't see this in your column. Wow, nice blowhole. Man, are your lips chapped. Or how much wood can you chuck? It would have been so beautiful if you'd only picked this. <laughs> Susie was the dolphin who not only appeared in Clambake, but also played Flipper on TV. Unfortunately, her sex scene with the king was cut. Okay, pick a category. Coming at you, killing me softly with his song. How does $2,000 sound? You know how in that movie the professional Gary Oldman's character listens to Beethoven before he kicks somebody's ass? Well then, which of Gary Oldman's other movies would have inspired his character from the professional before a big killing spree? Romeo is bleeding, Immortal Beloved, Murder in the First, or Sid and Nancy? Bet you wish you'd pick this. In Immortal Beloved, Gary Oldman plays Beethoven. I wish I knew who wrote the soundtrack for that movie. It was good. Category, please. In the deepest reaches of the Congo lies question 15. This one's called Pee Wee Rider. Four thousand big ones for a right answer here. Ready? Imagine Pee Wee Herman's hopping on his bike for another movie adventure. This time it's a remake of Easy Rider. If Pee Wee Rider remains faithful to the plot of Easy Rider, what will not happen in the movie? Pee Wee has a bad acid trip in a cemetery, Pee Wee's head is crushed by a Harley tire, Pee Wee gets harassed by rednecks, or Pee Wee swims naked with a hippie girl. Listen, any guy who dresses like Pee Wee is going to get harassed by rednecks whether he stays true to the plot or not. Let me show you what someone smart would have picked. No heads are crushed by tires in the original. Although I guess there is some scene when Pee Wee impresses a bunch of Harley guys by dancing around on a table in platform shoes to Born to be Wild. Okay, I need a category. Uh-oh, best of hits fried spore. It's time for a Snickerglish restroom. One gibberish category coming up. Swimming pools, candy bars. We're talking $10,000 prize on this gibberish question. Now check it out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay, get set and tell me what movie title does this rhyme with? 
Mock turd. Chew middle. And don't get confused by the punctual. It's all yours. Type it. Dr. Doolittle. Maybe you should try more bran. All right, hit me. Chew on this. Gross, it's turning purple. You get 4,000 clams for this one. All right, we've all heard of the movies Purple Rain and the Purple Rose of Cairo, right? Well... If you're in your local theater watching the Purple Rain of Cairo, what would you expect to happen? The Japanese actors would play like Hendrix, the artist formerly on screen would jump off, Morris Day would use Bogart's voice, or Apollonia would morph into an old hag. You're number one! Well, on a scale of one to ten. For the curious, here's the right answer. The artist formerly known as Prince stars in Purple Rain, and the Purple Rose of Cairo is all about a movie character who jumps off the screen. You know, they say the camera adds 10 pounds, so if the former Prince did jump off the screen, he'd probably look like Urkel. Okay, pick a category. Question 18. Honor student by day? Stripper by night. For your enjoyment, a band apart. 6,000 big ones for a right answer. Whoa, must be tough. Hey, music fans, did you know the band 10,000 Maniacs based its name on the title of a cult film? In order to have the same number of maniacs as in the cult movie's title, however, how many maniacs would have to leave the band? 5,000, 8,000, 9,000, or 9,999? Let's see what a correct answer looks like. Uh! The movie is 2,000 Maniacs, so 8,000 Maniacs would have to hit the road. But I'm sure anyone would have to be a Maniac to leave that band. Right, Natalie? I need a category. I proudly present, how much silk would a best actress chuck? Two G's if you get this one right. Just step up and take a swing at this one. If the Academy Awards ceremony moved from Hollywood to the setting of the film Silkwood, what would the celebrity... Silkwood is about a woman who tries to uncover the safety hazards at a nuclear power plant. So radiation suits would be in order. <laughs> ah yes, the glitz, the glamour, the radioactive glow. Category, please. Okay, give it up for a mouthful of Guinness. You give me a right answer, I give you a quick 4,000. Okay, imagine you're at the dentist getting some bridge work done. Unfortunately for you, your dentist has seen the bridge on the River Kwai 15 times. If he gives your bridge the same treatment, what will he do? Make love on your bridge, build the bridge under your gums, blow up your bridge, or... Ew. Now spit. Here's what you should have picked. If he follows the plot of the bridge on the River Kwai, your dentist will take your already very nice bridge and blow it up. But the worst part is he's going to whistle that theme song the entire time. Okay, I need a category. Think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. Not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. That gal really fills out a marquee. Ooh, this sounds like a full figure jack attack. Hope you can handle it.
way to go, player. It, it's like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose as long as you get to play with yourself. Now get the hell away from the computer and go make some friends, because... Okay, nice work, everybody. Roll commercials. And Raul, what are we doing now? Moving on up to the high scoreboard. Well, you know what that means. Doesn't mean dookie. We all here are unreservedly unimpressed. If you'd like to play again, just let me know.